Hi everyone, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see some important multiple choice questions from the chapter Sterilization of Pharmaceutics 1. From the chapter Sterilization Pharmaceutics. So this is one of the important chapter in the pharmaceutics. Most of the previous year exam questions you can see some questions from this chapter so we will go for the first question which of the following can destroy bacterial spore which of the following can destroy bacterial spore options are sterilization antiseptic disinfection germicide the correct answer for this one is option a sterilization Sterilization can destroy bacterial spore as well as viable all forms of microorganism. But in case of antiseptic, in case of antiseptic, which will inhibit the activity of activity of microorganism without destroying them. And anti antiseptic, it will inhibit their microorganism activity only inhibit the activity only not they even cannot destroy the microorganism here the question was for the next one option c disinfection disinfection they can remove the infection potential by destroying microorganism they can destroy the microorganism but they cannot destroy bacterial spore germic disinfection cannot destroy bacterial spore the last option germicide which will kill the back pathogenic bacteria normally causing this diseases pathogenic bacteria germicide will kill pathogenic bacteria but not necessary not necessarily bacterial spore so here the correct answer is sterilization Question number two, decimal reduction time is the time in minutes required to reduce the number of viable organism by decimal reduction time. It is also known as D value, D value. Decimal reduction time is the time in minutes required to reduce the number of viable organism by 25%, 100%, 75%, 90%. The correct answer for this question is 90%. Option D is the correct, one, correct answer. Now we will move to the question number 3. The heating temperature in dry heat sterilization. The heating temperature in dry heat sterilization is options are 150 degrees Celsius, 160 degrees Celsius, 140 degrees Celsius, 115 degrees Celsius. The correct answer is option B 160 degrees Celsius. 160 degrees Celsius. This is the dry heat sterilization. It's may it's 160 degrees Celsius actually for two hours for two hours 160 degrees celsius for two hours in case of dry heat sterilization i am saying so before that we will see some uh, methods of sterilization methods of sterilization they are actually you will see here method of sterilization physical method chemical method and mechanical method First one is physical method. Physical method. Another type is chemical method. Chemical method. Then the last one is mechanical method. Mechanical. Like this, three types are there physical for the sterilization. Three types of methods are using physical, chemical, and mechanical. Physical method. First option is dry heat sterilization. Dry heat sterilization. The second one is moist heat sterilization. Moist heat sterilization. Then third one is radiation sterilization. Radiation sterilization. Radiation sterilization is 
you seen two types of technique one is with uv rays another one is with uh, gamma rays uh, gamma rays and x rays that is ionizing radiation ionizing radiation ionizing radiation these are the different type of physical method dry heat moist heat radiation technique the second option chemical method in chemical method sterilization by heating with bacteria site heating with bacteria site the other option the second option for the chemical method is gas sterilization gas sterilization like uh, you know ethylene ethylene oxide then uh, formaldehyde then we will move to the next last one that is mechanical method in mechanical method different type of filters are used ceramic filters ceramic filters then uh, sieves filter sieves filter then sintered glass filter sintered glass filter sintered glass filter sintered glass filter then uh, met sintered metal filter metal filter metal filter then membrane filter membrane filter these are the different classes of uh, different methods for the sterilization technique in this in this question was dry heat sterilization in case of dry heat sterilization what was the temperature 160 degrees celsius for 2 hours for 2 hour that was the dry heat sterilization now we will move to the question number 4 sulfacetamide is sterilized by sulfacetamide is sterilized by options are dry heat sterilization moist heat sterilization sterilization using uv light option d membrane filter method the correct answer for this one is option a dry heat sterilization dry heat sterilization hot air oven is using for this technique hot air oven hot air oven is using for dry heat sterilization but autoclave is used for autoclave is used for this uh, moist heat sterilization in hot dry heat sterilization 160 degree celsius for 2 hours now this one the mechanism for this one is dry heat sterilization is oxidation oxidation of cell cell constituent is the oxidation is the mechanism in case of moist heat sterilization this is coagulation 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 is the mechanism of mechanism coagulation now we will move to the next question question number 5 autoclave autoclave is used for dry heat sterilization moist heat sterilization sterilization using uv light membrane filter method this is already we discussed autoclave is moist heat sterilization option b is the correct answer now we will move to the next question question number 6 question number 6 sterilization of vaccine is done at vaccine sterilization is done at options are 55 to 60 degrees celsius 100 to 105 degrees celsius 160 160 degrees celsius 115 degrees celsius vaccine is 55 to 60 degrees celsius is the correct answer question number 6 option a is the or a is the correct answer now we will see some important points regarding sterilization by physical method that is dry heat sterilization what are the materials used using this technique what are the materials are sterilized using this dry heat sterilization or using hot air oven the material one for dry heat sterilization technique uses dry heat sterilization method one is glass glass ways sterilization of glassware glassware the second one is uh, sterilization of powders such as sulfacetamide that medicine we already that question was there sulfacetamide uh, powders okay powders like medicines like sulfacetamide sulfacetamide 
then a sulfadiazine, kaolin, talc, zinc oxide like this. Now the next one option, this is used for the sterilization of injection, injection with the fixed oil vehicle, containing fixed oil as vehicle for the sterilization of injection containing fixed oil as vehicle then here it is the last is this one scalp scalpels scissors etc are also using blades also blades also they all are sterilized by dry heat method dry heat sterilization Glass waste, powders such as sulfur satamide, sulfur diazine, etc. Injection containing fixed oil, fixed oil vehicles. Examples are progesterone, injection of progesterone, injection of, injection of uh, testosterone, etc. Then uh, scalpels, uh, scissors, blades, etc. All are sterilized by dry heat method. Now we have studied this one kayak moist sheet is uh, moist sheet sterilization is done through mechanism is through coagulation and is done through autoclave method autoclave method now we will see the different temperature using for this autoclave technique autoclave technique different temperature we will see in case of autoclave temperature is with uh, 115 degrees celsius 115 to 118 degrees celsius for 30 minutes this is the time minute 30 minutes or 121 to 124 degrees celsius for 15 minutes for 15 minutes or 126 121 to 124 15 minutes 126 to 129 for 10 minutes or 134 to 138 5 minutes 5 minutes here the pressure desired pressure is mentioned as in case of this one 115 degrees celsius this is 10 lbs per uh, square inch 10 lbs per square inch then for the for 121 degrees celsius this is 15 lbs 15 lbs inch square square inch this is the pressure, this is the time, this is the temperature in case of autoclave. So we will see the application for this one also. Application is uh, for the surgical dressing, sterilization of surgical dressing. Surgical dressing. Surgical dressing and surgical instrument, then containers and closes, containers and their cloche, cloches are using this technique now we will move to the other method same using moist heat technique moist heat technique we see the autoclave method another technique another methods are pindalization pasteurization sterilization of wax in this day these three types are also coming under moist heat this is the example for autoclave is the example for moist instrument using moist heat sterilization technique autoclave but moist heat technique there are other techniques also that is one is moist heat method one is tindalization technique tindalization technique Tindalization technique, another one is pasteurization. This is used for pasteurization is used for the milk. This is used for the culture media sterilization. These are important culture media sterilization. This is milk and the last one vaccine sterilization. Vaccine sterilization. This is done at 55 to 60 degrees Celsius. That one we already seen in the question paper. Now, in case of tindalization technique, that is done in 80 degrees Celsius for the culture media. It's 80 degrees Celsius for consecutive three days, three successive days, for three days, successive three days, for one hour. 
80 degrees Celsius for one hour for successive three days. That is the pindalization technique. In pasteurization technique, there are two types. That is one is holder method, another one is flash method. Flash. Flash is the word. Flash is like that one. The word meaning like that one. That is 71.6 degrees Celsius. 6 degrees, 71.6 degrees Celsius just for 15 seconds. Like flash, just like flash, 15 seconds only, 71.6 degrees Celsius. In holder method, 62.8 degrees Celsius, 62.8 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. 30 minutes. This is for using for the milk sterilization. The sterilization technique is used for culture media sterilization. Vaccine sterilization is done for 55 to 60 degrees Celsius for one hour. This one is the question also came. Now we will move to the next question. Hope it's uh, question number seven. Question number six we discussed. Question number seven. Which of the following radiation is used for the sterilization by ionization, ionizing radiation, ionizing radiation technique? Options are X rays, gamma rays, UV rays, both A and B. That is X ray as well as gamma rays. The correct answer is both A and B. Ionization radiation means X-rays and gamma rays. X-rays and gamma rays. For the gamma rays, the isotope radio isotonic source is for the gamma rays cobalt 60. Cobalt 60 or cesium 137. Cesium 137. These are the isotope molecule which is used for the generation of gamma rays. Gamma rays. Now we will move to the next question, question number 8, concentration of phenyl mercury nitrate or maybe it's written PMN, phenyl mercury nitrate used as bactericide, ask for the concentration of the phenyl mercury nitrate used as bactericide, options are 0 0.02 or 0 0.2 and 0 0.0002 none of the above the correct answer for this one is none of the above the correct answer is 0 0.002 percentage phenyl mercury nitrate is used as a bactericide bactericide question number nine ethylene oxide kills this is a gas sterilization technique gas sterilization technique uses Previously formaldehyde, nowadays it's replaced by ethylene oxide. So the question is from it gas sterilization. Ethylene oxide is ethylene oxide kills the microorganism by acidification, alkylation, oxidation, reduction. Correct answer is alkylation, alkylation technique. Ethylene oxide, even formaldehyde is also an alkylating agent, alkylating agent, formaldehyde. Ethylene oxide kills microorganism by alkylation. Now we will move to the next question, question number 10, membrane filters are made of. This is important question, very, very important. So many times came in for the exam, questions in the previous year exam so if you like to see the previous year exam question as well as the answer i put the disc in the description the link for different type of uh, different uh, this one uh, previous year exam i put the link in in the description box you can click there and check the videos also here the question is membrane filters are made up of asbestos kiselgar porcelain cellulose the correct answer is cellulose cellulose so we will see some important mem filters important filters that is made up of its uh, filters are coming under mechanical method that one i already talked this one mechanical method ceramic filter sit filter sintered glass sintered metal membrane filter this is the membrane filter membrane filter is made up of cellulose cellulose this one we already discussed then in case of asbestos porcelain porcelain or kiselgar porcelain or kiselgar that is ceramic filter cf or candle fit candle filter filter candles filter candles it's also known as filter candles or ceramic filters it's made of kiselgar or porcelain and 
the this one sitch filter sitch filter is made up of uh, asbestos sitch filter it's made up of asbestos and sintered glass filter is made up of borosilicate glass borosilicate glass then this one metal sintered metal is made up of stainless steel stainless steel stainless steel hope you understood all things membrane filter is made up of cellulose then metal filter is made up of stainless steel sintered glass is made up of borosilicate glass sitch filter is made up of asbestos ceramic filter or filter candles are made up of kisselgar or porcelain now we will move to the 11th question question number 11 fixed oils are sterilized actually the question is fixed oils are sterilized by dry heat sterilization this one we already discussed the injection containing fixed oil as vehicle are sterilized by which method we already talked this one in this video itself the question is here fixed oil are sterilized by dry heat sterilization then moist heat sterilization sterilization using membrane filter tindalization the correct answer is option a is the correct answer thank you guys for watching this video and please subscribe the channel and press the bell button so that you will get the notification whenever i upload new videos and one more time i am reminding you just check the description box you can get you will get the link for the different previous year pharmacist exam questions and their explanation thank you